Hey viewers, welcome back. I'm here working on this 2007 Chevy Tahoe LTC 5.3 liter engine. It's going to be a little quick video based on quick tips, based on a shorted 5 volt reference. As you can see on the scan tool it shows a P0641 5 volt reference 1 circuit. The top one, the P0443 was actually done by me by disconnecting the connector to the perch valve. But the one that was causing all this craziness to this truck was the P0641. Whenever that code pops up or a short cell the 5 volt reference for that circuit or even for circuit number two, it's gonna make the truck go into a reduced power mode, which I'll show you in a bit. It would also, it's, it's gonna disable the the accelerator pedal from even working so these are the sensors that belong to that 5 volt reference one which will trigger p0641 the first one is a map sensor the second one is a fuel tank pressure sensor the third one is the ac refrigerant pressure sensor the fourth one is the accelerator pedal position sensor circuit 2 the fifth one is the engine oil pressure sensor the sixth one is the camshaft position sensor and finally the seventh one is a brake booster vacuum sensor and for those who are struggling with the 5 volt reference circuit 2 that one will trigger p0651 it only has three sensors which is the accelerator pressure uh, pedal position sensor circuit 1 the throttle position sensor circuits one and two, and then finally the crank, the crankshaft position sensor. For our case, we're, I was dealing with the P0641. Unfortunately, I'm not able to bring you guys the like the main symptom because I already found the problem, and it's a it's it's actually an interesting one. The reason why why I say that is that. As I was doing my wiggle test, well, first of all, if it's not a shorted 5 volt reference to ground, it's gonna be one of your sensors, you know, one of these seven. I actually disconnected all, actually, I disconnected six out of the seven. The 5 volt reference still remained at 1.2, 1.3. And the only one that I couldn't Disconnect was the fuel tank pressure sensor since that one actually be, lives on top of the fuel tank to get to that connector you have to drop the fuel tank So for a split second I was actually condemning the fuel tank pressure sensor as a culprit problem But then I said you know what let me do the wiggle test since these engines are known for short to ground power reference so the number one main area here would be this area of the harness right here, which is right here. As you can see, there's actually a, a stud that lives right there. That stud actually rubs against the uh, insulation here and actually makes a hole through the insulation and starts rubbing against the wires. And one of the wires is the circuit one fiber reference and that's normally the one that shorts out so what i did for this customer i put a little rubber hose i mean a little rubber yeah a rubber hose here just to make it sit on top of that rubber so to minimize the the rubbing against the insulation i mean actually this insulation was actually rubbing against that stud already, but it was not the problem. As you can see there, it was already creating damage. Another area would be anywhere where those wires live. As you can see, the insulation has already broken off. I've already put some blue tape to minimize any potential problems there. But usually that's the number one area here for, you know, for the wiring diagram, I mean for the wiring harness. It's this area here where this would actually go, would actually start going through the insulation through that stud. 
So what caught my eye as I was doing the wiggle test, as I was doing the wiggle test, I accidentally touched this uh, this perch tube here, this plastic one that goes all the way to your tank. As, as I was going left to right, I was actually hearing the, the throttle body actuator kick in and also the fuel pump would prime. So then I, I uh, put the scan tool into the data mode. I went to the EVAP, I selected the, both of the Bible reference, and then I uh, went into the fuel tank pressure sensor PID or data since I was condemning a faulty fuel tank pressure sensor. As you can see, it currently shows 5.025, which is working properly, normally. Like I said before, it was anywhere from 0.9 to 1.2, 1.3, so today we'll go to 1.5. The highest I saw was around 2.5. So like I said, as I was wiggling this uh, this EVAP tube here, I saw that my power reference go back would actually go back to normal. As I would let go, it would go back to 0.9, 1.2, So then I said, okay, so something's causing it to fix itself. So I went down the well, the fuel tank. I, well, I was actually looking around the harness that goes to the uh, fuel tank pressure sensor and the fuel pump. So I saw that that the harness was actually rubbing against the drive shaft to the 4x4. Let me pause, let me take you to that area and show you guys what was actually causing this 5 volt reference to short out. Alright guys, so I'm here next to the uh, drive shaft of the 4x4. As you can see, and it's obvious, there's a harness that's sitting on top of the uh, differential. This was actually shorting out. I could no longer recreate it. But as you can see, the insulation is broken and the wires are actually are pretty much sitting on top of the uh, drive shaft. Let me see if I could get you a good... Yeah, uh, you know, it's going to be tough to get you, but those wires are actually not being protected by the insulation no, no longer. But one of those wires right there I'd like to show you guys was as the drive shaft was spinning, it was shorting out the 5 volt reference to to the fuel tank pressure sensor. And that's the reason why I, I thought the prong was a uh, the fuel tank pressure sensor as a culprit prong that was probably internally shorted. So I'm going to fix that. I'm gonna put some conduit. I'm gonna put a cable tie. And that should pretty much fix this problem, guys. Let me go and show you guys what's happening to you know to the to the engine. Since the code is still stored in, in, in the PCM. Let me just show you guys, show you guys real quick. Alright guys, so I'm here inside the vehicle now. Let me wait until it shows the, the prom here on, on the cluster. Engine power is reduced and that's due to that code, the P0641. So what happens, it's gonna disable your, your, acceler uh, your accelerator pedal from even doing anything. As you can see right now, I'm gonna press it. The engine will not rev. It's all the way wide open throttle. Look at the RPM needle, nothing happens. So to fix that, uh, another symptom would be also your uh, engine oil pressure sensor or your needle would pretty much show zero with this problem here. So let me go ahead and show you guys with the scan tool now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and reset the codes with the Keon engine off. Oh, sorry about the glare, guys. I'm gonna recoat once again. P0641. I'm gonna clear codes. Yes. Successfully. Let's read it one more time. No trouble codes. Let's go ahead and start the engine. It started with no prong. Now let me press the, the accelerator. And you will hear the uh, hear the engine rev. There you go. Now it's working properly. Let's go back to data stream real quick. For EVAP, since I already have those selected. There you go. Bible reference working normally, 5.025. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video based on quick tips. If it's not the sensors that belong to that circuit, it's going to be somehow the, the, the wiring is shorted to ground. Alright.